Olá pessoal, tudo bem? Aqui estou de volta com mais um videozinho para o English Stuff For You. Ultimamente eu tenho estado assim, uh, não digo ocupada, mas com bastante responsabilidades. Então, por isso que eu tenho falhado um pouquinho aí em postar assim com mais frequência. Mas vamos lá. Hoje eu resolvi adotar um cenário diferente. Aqui no fundo é a minha árvore da gratidão, onde eu vou colando uns post-its aqui com é, coisas pelas quais eu sou grata, né? Ainda tem muita coisa para postar, mas mas eventualmente algum dia essa árvore vai estar tá bem cheinha aí de post-its verdes e amarelos. Hoje o tema do vídeo ah, seria English Talk, ou seja, conversar sobre alguma coisa. Então eu encontrei é, um, um desafio tag bem diferente com 50 perguntas que você nunca foi perguntado antes. Então, essa primeira parte foi em português, a parte das perguntas, então, eu vou fazer em inglês, ok? Acompanha aí. Well, I don't lit candles so often, uh, unless when I'm meditating or doing some magic stuff, but uh, my favorite uh, incense scent is uh, sandalwood, is my favorite one. fan of the Friends show, so I guess my, uh, the female celebrity I would like to have as a sister is Jennifer Aniston. Benedict Cumberbatch, because he seems to be a very, a very clever person. Yeah, unfortunately I know a hoarder and Uh, he is in my family. It's my grandfather on my mother's side. He has a salon, uh, his backyard, full of garbage, actually, okay? Like broken, um, broken things, broken appliances, um, rusty things, you know, lots of stuff he, he kept there, thinking they would be useful someday, and they're there. Uh, my grandpa is already very old and he's not going to use those things um, but you know he keeps accumulating stuff even newspapers old newspapers you know well I'm not that young uh, anymore but uh, there was a time I could almost do a split I never did a complete split but I almost did a split Well, I used to ride a bike when I, were, when I was around seven or eight, but then I had a uh, bicycle accident when I was around 13. And since then, I haven't rode a bike until 2012, when I discovered I don't know how to ride a bike anymore. I have swam in two oceans the Atlantic Ocean and the beaches here in Brazil and I can say that I really swam in the Pacific Ocean because it's so cold but I put my feet on the in the Pacific Ocean uh, in Chile's beaches can I come Brazil okay Brazil uh, Argentina Chile Canada, Ireland, and Spain, so I guess six. My worst grade was when I was around 11 years old. I was in fifth grade. Today uh, it's considered the sixth grade. Uh, and <clears throat> it was in literature because we had to read a very, very boring book. I love reading books, but that book was awful. So because of that, because I barely read the book, I got my worst grade, which was a D. Well, when I was a child, I liked 
two uh, TV shows actually, Brazilian TV shows. I liked Balão Mágico and, okay, shame on me, Show da Xuxa. The last costume party I attended was in 2015, it was the Halloween party in the school where I used to work and I dressed up as a lady pirate. You know, none of them, I, I, if I could uh, adopt an accent, actually I would like the Irish accent. No, karate, no. But some years ago, remember when I said that I could do a split or almost a split? It's because I use it to take Kung Fu lessons. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Remember? <laughs> the first amusement park I went when I was a kid and I was not like a little kid. I was around, I don't know, 10 years old. It was the Play Center Park here in Brazil. It doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately, but it was really an iconic amusement park. Well, currently I speak Portuguese, English and Spanish, but the language I would like to be fluent in, and I will get to that is French because, in my opinion, it's a very beautiful language. Oh, none of them. I don't like romantic sad movies. I prefer, you know, uh, romantic comedies, so none of them. Well, I like many restaurants and pubs. Not, not only here in my region, but also in Sao Paulo city. But here in my region, to mention one, my favorite restaurant is an Argentinian restaurant called La Boca Empanadas. Well, my nicknames are Patty, Patty Lane. Uh, in my family, sometimes they call me Pilix, okay? But usually my, uh, my friends call me Pachi is the pronunciation in Portuguese, uh, Patti in Spanish or Patti in English. Yes, I do, but the days when I go uh, to the gym, I just take a cup of milk with coffee, just that. But on other days, uh, I eat some bread too. Yes, I do, unfortunately. I take some medicines daily. Yeah, the reason, one of the reasons why I take medicines uh, daily is because I have a family condition that is high blood pressure. Yeah, many times, actually. And I also have seen Finding Dory. It's lovely, but it's all because I love uh, animated movies. Yes, I practically, I practically remember all my dreams every day. It's very rare when I don't remember my dreams. Well, I was raised in Christianity. So I guess I would raise my kids in Christianity too, but uh, no strings attached and no forcing them to follow that religion. Well, there wasn't an age when I discovered Santa wasn't real because my parents never told me or my sister the story of Santa Claus. We always knew that they were the ones that bought us gifts for Christmas. So <laughs> I guess I, now I believe in Santa Claus, but no, not when I was a kid. E é isso aí, galera. Então são perguntas assim bem diferentes, bem louquinhas, tá? E eu queria agora desafiar os meus amigos e colegas 
uh, vlogueiros ou que de vez em quando gravam alguns vídeos para também responder essas perguntas. Eu quero ver cada um de vocês respondendo aí essas perguntas eu vou desafiar por escrito depois vocês, tá? As perguntas em português eu vou colocar aqui embaixo na descrição do vídeo pra você é, poder ter aí a versão em português. Ah, e claro, esses desafiados não precisam, claro, responder em, em inglês. Então é isso por hoje, galera. Espero ver vocês no próximo vídeo. Beijos e tchau!